The big legendary 100th drop from O'Neill Designs. Let's go review it. Welcome back everybody. Today we are doing another toy review. We've got the brand new O'Neill Design Drop Wave 100. Huge, huge drop. Wave 100 is just incredible. An incredible accomplishment for what now? Like 16, 17 years of toy production for the Goliosverse. The spearheaded O'Neill design treatment of the Glios universe is now coming to a huge culmination in this big event basically this was quite an event we had a bunch of delays and then it finally dropped and what a drop it was it was incredibly exciting to see everybody just blow up the internet in our little small pocket of the internet I should say hopefully we're expanding that corner of the internet but it has been really exciting to see everybody just so stoked for this we've got a ton of to cover in this little review. It's already gonna be a long video. Hang in there, stay for the ride, stay all the way to the end. If you enjoy the Glyos toy reviews, I know you're gonna like this one. We go over pretty much everything. I got like 95% of the products that came out in this drop and they're all very, very cool. We're gonna go into the ones I did miss and what's available in the store currently with the drop. So stay tuned for that. Let's not waste any more time though. Again, we got a lot to look through. So make sure to subscribe, click the like button as we're getting started here. If you enjoy the Glyos content and I really appreciate it. Wave 100, let's go. Yeah, there we go. Let's get all the big newspaper out of here. This is wild. There's so many figures in this. Oh yeah, let's just get the drop. Oh my goodness me. This is probably the biggest order I've done in a while. So holy crap, let's go through it. And I think we're going to start off with our little Cray booths. I know some people don't like me calling them Cray booths, but you know, it's just order first exposure. That's what got ingrained into my head first. So that's how I just keep calling them that. So if you don't like it sorry that's just how i've always known these guys to be called first up we've got a very very cool hyper phase cray booth let's pull him out of the packaging here you've got that nice translucent green it looks amazing i mean i love this green i i've already gotten some of these nice translucent green cray booths in my collection i'm so glad to see a nice return to form with these translucent green colors they look really really sharp especially on some of these other figures we're going to look at today i mean come on good 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 cray booth i like them a lot in fact let me see where's the last one this would probably be the closest one i have you can see a little bit of a comparison here between the two uh, I don't know the exact name for this one. It might be another hyperphase. I don't know if this is like a redone hyperphase uh, and this is like the original or something. I'm not sure. I can't recall all the names of all the different drops and Cray Booth drops that they've had. So, but there's a nice little comparison between two translucent green ones. Perfect. And then the other color wave we've got in wave 100 is this very nice grayish magenta purple colors. It's really, really sharp looking. Let's get him out. And I don't know if I'm going to be saying it right, but uh, Kydrothi is the name they're using for this nice little color. So look at this. It's got, man, it's a nice, just nice kind of, kind of faded out muted tone of the purple on like the highlighting. This is a nice kind of darker purple, that grayish purple. And then this magenta color coming through looks really, really sharp. I especially like it on some of the other components. Here's another little joint set, axis joint sets. That looks really clean in the nice magenta. So I also got that, picked up one of these. We'll see what I do with it. Bada bing. And then of course, we also have our nice little stowaway. Now this is like a metallic green, which is pretty sharp looking. I dig it. Very, very shiny metallic -y green. He looks really, really nice. I don't know what we're going with for a name for the stowaway. Uh, if I can do some research and find the other colorway that matches this pretty similarly, I'll let, uh, you know, the name do the talking here up on the screen. But for now, we can just admire the nice chromatic color scheme of green, which, ah, you know what? This, this drop was just, man, it was calling my name like crazy. Why? Because this, these are all my favorite colors. We even have a little stowaway package that came in here. We got two extra little head pieces, it looks like, Sinkerborgs and stuff like that that came in as well. Pretty nice looking. We got the extra like white with the green highlights on him. 
And I got this guy too. I don't think these came, maybe these did come with another character. I forget what was included in each character. So these might've come on a different figure, but I only have one of them in here and I ordered doubles on a lot of things. So I think see these were bonus. In any case, we've got green, we've got translucency, we've got purple and we've got a nice white. This is everything that I am about with color schemes. Purple, green, and white is, I mean, you got, I got it right there in the logo and stuff. Green has always been a favorite of mine. I love this drop. I mean, it was right on my alley, so I got a lot today. Good start with the Cray booths, though. I really dig the stowaway on this one. What else we got here? We can kind of go over some more of these joint parts, these joint sets that we got. We've got a nice base white joint set that looks pretty clean. I'm going to be using a lot of these, I think, to build up extra figures, and I'll explain more about that in a little bit. We've got the nice Kadrothi magenta, nice magenta color for the joint set. Very good. And, you know, I had to get more of the green joint set, so we've got a green one here, and then we've also got the little, what are these called again? Swing joints? Swing joints. Swing joint sets. Yes, the nice swing joints. I need to use these more in building definitely would like to incorporate them more i've got a few other ones in my collection that i haven't used yet so got some extra spares just to maybe do a nice build video with something of those oh we got a swing joint set of the white as well very good i'm glad i picked that up and then we got two of the hub sets of the hyper phase we've got our little hub dudes here these guys are always kind of fun to get let me open one of these guys up actually so you can kind of see because i don't think i've ever really fully scoped them out with you guys on camera. These are our hub sets. They come with a lot of really nice pieces. You can see they kind of give you a lot of different joint options for different things, like lots of different things. He snaps them all together into like this little kind of robot dude. But if you pop this part off, this can be like your hip to leg joint part. I mean, this could be a body if you need to. I mean, it's just extra parts for a lot of different things. It's it's a nice little set to get if you're into building. It's got a lot of crucial parts that are pretty nice. It's almost exactly the same size as a Cray booth. Now, I don't remember getting this one, so I don't know if they threw it in or not. Uh, I'd have to check my order again because I don't remember if I got this, but this is like the extra spare like armor and headset for a lot of like the fade in armor set joint pieces and stuff like that you can build with. Oh gosh, they just spilled all over the place. Okay, I wanted to go through them, but not in that manner. We got kind of like this little Singerborg style headpiece. Looks pretty sick. Nice little headpiece. I like him a lot. We've got the classic bird fella. I don't know your official name. I'm sorry. We've got the, uh, oh, 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 he's rolling and dropping away. But the uh, Faden cop helmet, motorcycle, bike helmet, RoboCop vibe looking thing. This is a nice helmet. I've used this before on several builds. It's really cool. We got one more head in here. No, we've, so we've got just like joint pieces up the wazoo. Some like arm joint pieces and then leg joint pieces. You can see here, those will attach into a hip socket. And we get a really nice armor set. You can kind of see this one's like already, the leg piece is already like in this armor set, but this will go on like an arm or a calf or something like that. However you want to use these. These pieces are awesome. I love tacking on the arm piece, the little armor pieces, and I never have enough of these. You can see they'll just slide on any, you know, normal, semi-normal, small size, like Faden-esque arm piece. You can kind of just pop and slip them in there. These are a little bit thicker, so I don't know. They won't fit on every arm piece, obviously. And then we got the classic chest piece which always looks super dope and cool. You can use it from either side, however you choose, however you fancy. And again, I don't remember if I ordered this, but uh, always welcome to have extra parts, uh, including the armor. The armor is always nice to have extra of. So if I didn't order that, thank you for giving a little bit of an extra bonus thing to me. I appreciate it. Okay, we've got one more limb piece set here. This is the Delphi limb set, the white base. So these come with a ton of things. They kind of split it up a little bit differently this has to do with building extra figures like I was talking about. So this little extra appendage set, I guess you could say, has the wider like boots and legs and arm pieces in here. And then it's got a couple like, however you want to use these calf muscles, you know, foot muscles, whatever. You can use these parts for however you see fit. Tons of plenty of builds out there that use these and incorporate these in classic style builds. I got two of these because we're gonna be building out a couple extra characters, I'm thinking, uh, considering how this drop went and kind of what the extra part pieces were that you could order. It was very interesting, um, but I kind of liked it. I liked having the, the options to get these extra like limb parts if we needed. They go hand in hand with these 
these, but I'm not gonna go into those yet, I don't think. I think we're gonna wait on those. The other limb set that I did get is the Kazarak limb set in the hyper phase mode. These are our classic claw and crazy tangly hand. Nice little sets uh, that we're used to, that we've seen in the last few drops, especially alongside the other Kazarax uh, figures. And with other Mangalore ones too, they kind of were including them in the same colorways. So we got our little kind of like crabbish claw hand, the classic, but in the hyper phase this time, it's looking very nice. And we've got that kind of mutated, gross, oozing arm with the tenna claws here. Very, very dope, very, very cool. We got our classic headpiece. This one you'll be familiar with from the other ones they've released of this guy. Do I have one available I can just kind of sneak and pull down? This is how he'll look on the classic kind of normal figures. If you mishmash them with one of the Phaos figures, you can create one of these guys with the Hyperphase. We'll probably go into the Phaos figure next too, just so you can kind of get an idea of how that'll come together. They also have a couple extra little limb bits here as well. I love these little sets. They're great. They're nice. You can never have enough of the monstrous hands, especially if you're a fan of building out crazy monsters. So you know I had to get two of these. Uh, that way I can, you know, do double tentaclaw hands or something, you know, you never know. So the Phaos, we'll go over him really quick because everybody's familiar with the, the nice Phaos. This is the hyper phase, of course, Phaos figure. He's a classic. I, uh, I think I prefer him over the Fadens uh, just because I like the monstrosities of these dudes. They're sweet. They're sick. They're all mangly and oozy and they just look awesome. And the Hyperphase is no exception. I mean, he looks really, really nice. I don't actually, I thought I did. Oh, I guess I was wrong. I thought I already had a very similar translucent green Phaos, but I guess not. I love these guys though. Look at how cool he looks. I love spinning the head. This spin head on these guys is really nice. It gives it a completely different vibe with the one-eyed Cyclops thing. It's really, really cool like that. But whichever way you choose to flip your head around, you could also just pop the head off and pop this guy on a little bit. And then, you know, attach the claw hands or whatever you want to do. You can build them up with these extra bits, make his legs a little bit longer so he's proportioned a bit more correctly. And then you can build out one of those Kazarak mutant figures. But I think I'm going to use the Kazarak limb set for something else. I'm just going to keep my Phaos with my other nice Phaoses because I've got a whole lineup of them on the shelf over there. We'll just keep him as is for now. I'm going to use these parts for other very cool things. So we'll get into those. I keep saying that a lot, but we have a lot to go over and I'm kind of saving the best for last. All right, we're getting kind of messy here. Let's uh, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Let's get all our extra hub stuff off the table here. There we go, that's a little better. Let's look at my one and only fade-in that I got in this set really quick. I didn't get a lot of the other fade-ins that were released in the 100th drop. They were very enticing to me, but there were other things that I had my eyes set on and my bank account ready to get emptied for. So these are the other fade ins that I didn't get that were a part of the drop. Some of them are still available. Bing, bang, boom. You've seen them all. They look really nice. I'm a big fan of like the original fade in looks really, really sharp. And these other ones too, I almost got, but I had to budget a little bit around a few things this time around. I couldn't get absolutely everything. So that's what they look like. I believe most of these are still available in the store. Quick snapshot of the current store as of today's date. I'm filming this on Friday, so you're gonna see this on Sunday, take that into account. But if there is anything left, of course, of course, of course, go to the store, go support, go grab some of these guys while they're still available. A little spoilerific for some of the other stuff we're going into, but here is the nice, looking fade in that i got it looks really really sick synchro phase fade in we'll get him opened up here we got the hyper phase green and we got the synchro white he's looking really sharp the white and the green combo in this drop looks really 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 nice so very glad i picked this guy up there's a few other figures that we're going to go into that have the same synchro phase look this guy in particular just looks really sick i like how they kind of look at how they did the arm so they like recreated the arm here with like a joint set. They added a little bit of this kind of foot armor detail. So you can see how you can get creative with the feet on these guys. They did give you the regular foot. So if you want to just build the base fade in, you can do that. They give you the regular arm. So you can build them out that way. They do give you the scarves, handkerchief, neck, whatever scarf thing you want to talk about. And they give you a few extra joint pieces, of course. And they also give you this nasty looking, cool like arm combo craziness sword thing. I think 
what they aim for here is to just kind of pop this off, I believe, and you can pop this on. And then you can have like a robo knife arm, which is pretty dang sick. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's check that out. Let's give it a little rearrangement here. I don't know if I'm attaching that the complete right way, but there you go. So you can kind of give him that kind of a look going, but he just looks really, really nice. I love the green and white on this dude. It's really clean and you even get like a nice vest on him. You can take a closer look a little bit at the face here. Love the detailing. Of course, the Fadens always have nice little detailing right here around the eyes and stuff. They always look super cool. And I am big fan about how they kind of got a little bit more creative with this Faden and beefed them out a little bit as far as like the armor goes and stuff. Of course, providing you with the extra Faden parts because there are collectors out there and stuff that just like doing the Faden stuff, the, just the base guy himself. But this is a welcome addition for me. I love the creativeness of this. Next up, we've got the Synchrodrome Edemoyas or something like that. The Synchro Phase Synchrodrome. This has a lot of pieces from our classic Toyfinity Robo Force. I love when Onel does some really cool stuff with this. He always builds some cool robots out. Toyfinity always does their nice little Robo Force stuff too. I don't get them a lot usually. Um, when I do pick them up though, it's because I just love the build that they had for the picture on the website basically and i just really like the look of this and of course i wanted all these nice big bulky green translucent parts all these nice white translucent i mean this isn't translucent what am i saying but you get what i'm saying this guy looks sweet i'm gonna try to remember how to build him up so we can see how he looks correctly i think he's like this yeah something like that there we go there's our kind of base synchrodrome look i believe i did this right i again didn't go back to the picture because i couldn't pull it up on my phone at the moment but that's kind of the look we're going for here this kind of big bulky robot looking dude the legs aren't staying in super well for some reason right on that little hip point uh, unfortunately they're pretty loose, but I don't know if that's a common thing or whatever, if it's just a builder error, but I just love the look of how cool this guy is. We hit, we get so many good pieces in here. I swear so many of these pieces are just so nice looking, especially these big bulky boot parts look really sharp. Of course, the big base parts, they've all got like the nice detailing on it too, which is really, really clean. We even do get a head with it, kind of like a synchrodrome head, as you can see with that highlighting. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I like that one a lot. And we get these cool little pieces right here. We get like a little drill bit and we get a little like fan spinny blade thing as well, which is pretty neat. I like that too. And we get like a little cap part that can just slide on an open spot to kind of like cap it off, seal it. And one of these double jointed like headpiece points so you can use these for necks or whatever a lot of the time. But this is just a great piece to have. You can never have too many of these and they're pretty, they don't come in every single figure. So it's kind of nice when you get these. He looks really sharp though. I mean, he just is towering over our Cray booth here. Look at that. That is pretty sick. And our hub set even. It's like a bigger version of a hub set basically. It's like just giant sized hub set. Great pieces, great stuff that you can use for building. Overall, these these bots are just great for that kind of stuff. You can do so much with their parts. I feel like we got to speed this along because we have so much to go through. So we're going to jump into the next really dope looking figure. One of the new stuff that we got in this drop. This is the Wallex Edge Breaker or something like that. It's got some pretty crazy parts. We've got a great looking mix of Mangalore parts and some nice classic like Delphi and new creations, new monster critters in here. It's gonna be awesome to check out. So let's get it open. This is when things get really interesting with this drop because there are so many pieces in these figures. I had to get my hands on as many as I could of these guys, especially because of this right here. Now check this out. Check this head sculpt out oh my gosh talk about up my alley we've got the cthulhu looking craziness going on here the lovecraftness is going strong in this set these are like the elder beings in the lore canon of the little glios verse these guys i guess created the armivores i need to read up on the history because it's pretty wild but this is our first time like seeing seeing them especially in glios form the actual figure form they look incredible i mean even that like look at the flip around on this head, the the tentacles actually kind of become this kind of cool hair piece almost in the back of that head. It's kind of like that nice like Cyclops version, but this is genuinely the better side, I think. I mean, it's incredibly detailed. It is so, so cool. They created something else too. Who else did they create? The Armivores and the Delphi too? 
I think they created the Delphi or something like that, and these beings maybe. Uh, but we're going to try to piece this together here a little bit because we got to take a look at the figure as it was sold here from the pictures. So here is our Wallex Edge Breaker dude. He is pretty sick. I really dig his head design too. I mean, just check that out. That's pretty cool looking. He's almost got this kind of like beluga blue whale vibe he's kind of got this thing on top it gives off whale i don't know what about it. i don't know if you guys see whale in that too eyes are on the side he's got this kind of like whale mouth almost it's very interesting and unique of a of a headpiece i think it works i'm not the biggest fan of it again i i mainly got this kit because of this headpiece we are going to throw it on here but this guy this is the only set i think that sold it this, this headpiece, let me see. Was there other ones? Did we get those? Oh, we do get them in the other ones too. Okay, we'll go into those too. But this guy is pretty cool. This is how they kind of showcased them on the site. Uh, so I had to build them out this way just to kind of show them off. But you can build them out kind of with the Kaidroshi look vibe going for them here. You can see they give you all the extra pieces to build out all these extra like Mangalore parts to build a crazy looking creature if you so choose. You can kind of swip swap and actually make the alternative Kairoshi version of this with all the Mangalore hands, feet, legs, the calves, the Mangalore calves, which you guys know I'm a fan of, these monstrous, muscly calves, and you get a bunch of extra bits and pieces to, you know, build out a couple different figures. This is where these kits get interesting. You can build out like three different figures with one kit, which is pretty insane. So you can swip swap all these parts to make three different figures. Where's our headpiece for him? Oh, the headpiece is right here. I was just missing him. He wasn't a limb part, but there is our headpiece, our, our alternative headpiece for a figure that you can build. So we will be swip swapping these. I do have another set right here, which is built out to be more of the Kairoshi one or however you want to say it. So we're going to open up this one next so we can kind of compare and contrast how they're setting up the two, three different figures, basically. I am just enamored, though, with these guys. This headpiece looks insane. Absolutely insane. Really, really dope. So I think we'll swap into the Edge Breaker version for him. This is the Wall Break. And then we will go into the Kairoshi Edge Breaker dude. Again, this is set up a similar way. We've got a lot of similar parts, but we've got colors that are swip swapped. So we've got different colors on different parts, basically polar opposite of this guy. I want to try to keep the parts separate so I don't mix them up. Let's get them out here. Oh yeah. So here's our little Edge Breaker head piece. He's kind of got this kind of just simple little alien-esque design. It's pretty neat. And then, oh man, look at this, right? Look at that. The Kairoshi, oh my gosh, the Elder Being, the Lovecraftian Cthulhu creator god of the Glyos universe. Look at that. Oh, ooh, that's sharp. Ooh, that's sharp. Those details come out great with the white and the pinks and the magentas. Looks really, really good. I really, really love this one. This one's great. I could only get one of him, unfortunately. This one sold out really fast. There were a few more of him left. I think he might be sold out too now at this point, but I was only able to manage to get my hands on one of each of these, unfortunately. I did get duplicates of the hyperphase version of these, which we're gonna look at next as well. But why are we looking at this guy without his legs? Let's get his legs on. Okay, so there's the guy in all his glory here. Here, the full figure setup with the Mangalore parts that look just incredible in this shade. This white and magenta looks super cool. I mean, it just looks so sharp. Check out the calves. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. That's the whole figure for the Kairoshi version of him. Now I will say, I think my biggest critique of these is that I'm not the biggest fan of how the Mangalore parts fit within the edge breaker parts. I don't think they match up super well. Um, that's just my opinion. I think it looks a little bit awkward in some areas, especially around the legs. Sometimes it looks good. I think this one looks pretty good, but it needs something else. It needs a little bit more. They're inviting you to create and to build, I think, with these guys, obviously, because Again, the whole kit comes with so many parts that you can build out any type of figure you want. So you can make the wall eye guy, the wall break guy, whatever his name is, Wallax. 
They've got that version in here too. He looks a little bit cleaner in that white and magenta offset color. You can see how they kind of just flip flop the things around, the colors around a bit. Very cool. And then we've got the extra Mangalore parts. Very nice, which I'm going to kind of use to rebuild these out a little bit. Buff them out a little bit more to make them look a little bit more correct in my eyes. So you got like the gun cannon here. You've got the cannon part that goes over it just like on this guy so you can do the same thing build out him you can build out him and then you can build out the little edge breaker dude that fits more appropriately with like this head and this body type uh which i think yeah we should probably just try to build him out really quick but i'll say it's also kind of a bummer that we weren't given a nice chest piece a mangalore chest piece so we could just build out a crazy mangalore with these heads that's the, like the only piece we're missing is the nice mangalore chest piece which is kind of a bummer so we're gonna pop off your hands your gun your Mangalore arms, your head. Okay, we're almost done. We just got to add the headpiece on here. And then we've got our little edge breakers. Now, again, hopefully I did these all correctly. We do have these bits right here too to like beef out the legs a little bit. So I don't think I'm missing that necessarily. Uh, do we need the scarf for you? I think we do, right? This can go on him as well. Does that look good? That does actually look pretty sick. That's like your kind of little edge breaker figure that you can build with these. A little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, stubbier. They do match proportionally a little bit better, I think. I actually really love how snugly that like fits over the head, this little cowl piece. That's pretty sick. You can do whatever with this. I'll leave the cowl off too, just so you can kind of see it without the cowl. He's got the nice little kind of like more gauntlety hands, which always look nice and fun. Or you could even pop this hand off and replace it with like the cannon hand or something like that. That's always an option too. But you can see a little bit of the sides difference with those mangler parts versus just the regular like edge breaker parts. That is your three figures basically right there. You got the wall-eyed, I can't remember his name, Wallex figure with this headpiece that you can build out. You've got your little edge breaker one and then you got your Kairoshi one your little elder god one super super cool great value i think for like just geez like all these extra parts is just insane you can do a lot you can do a ton with this stuff match it up according to the tone you can put these legs on this guy and have it be like that all magenta color if you really wanted but then we've also got the hyper phase version of these guys oh oh man it looks so so great these look fantastic i did get two of them because I really want to build some out with the cool like crazy arms and stuff like just adding crazy arms to these guys is going to look super super dope I'm just going to open one of them for now they are both the same figure uh I believe they still have these up on the store too so go get one of these guys uh for sure because they look super dope I mean that hyperphase looks insane on these let me just look at that cthulhu head right there in the hyperphase that looks incredibly sick we got that black on the eyes and that nice green translucency all over his body just waiting oh give me his legs where are his legs come on that looks so insanely sick i love 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 this guy man he's so cool he's got the vibe he's got the vibe I love it. These Mangalore arms look incredible. Ooh, I can't wait to use these on other things too, because I'm going to have spares, especially if I'm switching out parts to give these guys crazier, huger arms. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I just got to, I got to throw this on and just look at, oh, ho, 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 look at that nonsense. That fits so well. That is so cool. Holy crap, that looks awesome. All right, all right, we'll keep him into his, his basic mode for now. For now, you know, we might switch him up a little bit later, but this video is already going to be running crazy long because there's just so much to go over. Uh, really quickly, same exact parts. Again, we got this dude's head. We also got the other edge breaker head in here too, so you can build out any of the three with all the extra pieces. We've got the extra Mangalore pieces and limbs and bits fantastic i could i could talk about this one for a long time i feel like but we gotta we gotta keep on moving just take another gander at the goose here once again i mean just incredible let's just flip around this head really quick and see how it looks with that other cyclops head pretty sick i'm not the biggest fan of the cyclops head i'll be honest i mean i'm always gonna keep it on this side for sure it's just way too cool not to but imagine like sticking this head on a bigger body possibly with like the synchroborg dude and just like beefing this guy out like crazy 
is going to look super, super sick. So we can put him there. We can kind of slide these pieces over. Uh, again, we got the second one. I'm not going to open that right now because we got too much going on here. Now, I mentioned at the beginning these extra limb parts. Now, these limb parts are actually the parts for this guy, the little edge breaker limb kit, basically for building out that dude. So you could build out another one, but we're missing some pieces, aren't we? We are. We've got all the limbs, we've got the feet, we got the hands, the arms, but where's the head? Where's the body? Well, they sold it separately, <laughs> which was an interesting choice, but it actually made for cheaper figures in the end if you wanted to save a few bucks and kind of build your own figure because they got this set here and it has all the white versions of all the Kazura, Kazakashi, whatever, I'm losing my mind, wall-eyed, whale-eyed dudes, nonsense, and the chest pieces. So you kind of had to get both sets if you wanted to build out the Edge Breaker figure or maybe one of these. Now they don't have white Mangalore parts for these guys. So you kind of have to, well, have to mix and match, but look at how insanely cool the white is on this. The Kairoshi Elder being Oh, the white head looks super nice, super nice. And that's why I did get two of each of these. So I got two of the limbs, two of the heads. Now I can swap with all these extra parts. However I want, I could build, uh, what, what was this guy? Uh, a synchro phase fade in. I could build a synchro phase, one of these Kairoshi dudes by adding in some of the green with the white since we've got all the extra pieces and parts so if you got these parts and you got these parts you could build out these figures with these parts missing of course you'll have to use like the arms of the edge breaker or the arms extra arms of your green or whatever have you and you can get a really cool figure out of it so here's like the body piece for it here is the nice little hip joint piece for it. No other coloring on these. It's all just the plain white, which again, I'm okay with because like they're meant to be built with and combined with other things. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how I'm going to cut this video down. I'm already going on 55 minutes. Ooh, this is going to be a long one guys. And if you're still here with me, checking it all out, I appreciate it. Thank you. Look at that. We can build him at least a little bit. I kind of want to use this guy though. All right, you know what? Well, I don't even know what we're going to do. This is just too much fun. I could, I, I got to do like a whole build video just with, in fact, maybe I will. Leave a comment down below if you think I should just do a whole separate custom build video um, with just the stuff from Drop 100 of Onel Design. Like I could do a whole video just on like all these pieces and try to build out something cool. You know what? Yeah. Let's do that. Stay tuned for that, guys. Leave a comment if you're excited for that, because I think that could make for a really cool video. Just do a whole themed O'Neill celebrate the 100th drop by taking all these freaking extra parts. We've got so many extra parts to fiddle and do whatever with. It's ridiculous. But that's the drop. Go check out O'Neill Design. Go check out the store. Grab what you can. Grab what's left in the store. Go support him. Great drop. Definitely grab one of these if they're still available. I think they are definitely well worth it for these dudes, I believe. Uh, you just get so much extra. And again, the three-in-one aspect of this is just really cool. Something I appreciate as a Glyos builder. And yeah, I guess we'll say stay tuned for a, a crazy Honel Design 100th wave drop build video, themed video with all these parts. Because freak me, there's a ton and it should be a lot of fun to do stuff with. That's it. That's the review for you guys. If you did stay all the way to the end, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a long one, I know. So if you're still here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Because if you watched this far, you got to have liked and enjoyed some of the content. So if you do, I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your week. We will see you guys in the next video.